All right, friends, welcome back to Mining Positivity. And today is the Monday Mine, which means it is the first Monday of a new month. I cannot believe it. I literally cannot believe it. But we are going to have an interesting kind of dilemma here, which is we need to get to our mine without letting any villagers or anything get in there. And I think the easiest way is just going to be to build some gates and then get into our mining area and just put the gates up. So I'm going to flip this today real quick because now that we have villagers, I'm a little worried about like mobs and things like that. But let's do that. And then next, I'm going to clear out my inventory really quick. Okay, I'm going to take this three diamond I have and just make another pickaxe here. So we can kind of pick lower down for diamond without it being super just painfully slow. So today we're going to be talking about on the Monday Mine is change. And we're going to be talking about change because things are changing on the channel. And guys, I'm finally able to reveal what the new content is going to be on my channel. Stay tuned right after the Monday Mine um, kind of message talk time. And then we'll talk about where the channel is going from here and what you can look forward to this week. So yeah, we're going to see some of that new content this week. But first, we are going to start with the Monday Mine. And if you're not sure what that is, that's where we spend a few minutes talking about something positive twice a month. And I need to make some gates. So let's make uh, just one. And then we'll put three of the gates around over here. We got our cat. We got our villagers in this little area. But yeah, we need to get this kind of set up so we can get to our mine. And they can't. All right, there we go. Now we can get in and we don't have to worry about them coming down here. So let me make my way down to diamond level and then we'll we'll talk. All right, so I've got my alarm set for 20 minutes so we can do 20 minutes worth of mining here. That's usually how I do it. And I do want to say, even though I am on the survival island and I am counting the days that are passing here, this is not really part of the series there. So I don't actually count as, as an episode number, so this won't be like episode 18 or anything like that. So think of it as like a 0.5 of the previous episode. <laughs> but that said, yeah, let's get into it. Alright friends, I hope you are doing well and just having fantastic, joy-filled days. Today we're going to be talking about change. Because change is inevitable. And change is something that's going to be happening on this channel. And I don't want to say like the whole channel is about the change, but there are going to be some changes. And so I thought it would be a good time to just kind of talk about change in general. As people, we typically don't like change. We don't want things to change. Things are the way they are, and we typically want them to stay the way they are. Because change means the unknown. And the unknown can be extremely terrifying. But there are some really positive benefits to change. And if we give change a chance, change can actually change us for the better. And I want to focus on some of these positive things that can come out of just change in life. And change can come in so many forms. It can come in the change of a YouTube channel. It can come in the change of a job, of a school, of a career, of a living situation. There's so many ways that life can change, but I feel like these four things are kind of universal to no matter what they are. Number one is we grow from change. When things change in life unexpectedly, it challenges us. It challenges us by bringing and exposing us to new experiences and new problems that we weren't experiencing before. Change in any facet of our life, by definition, means that we're going to experience a new dynamic, some different atmosphere, some different interaction with our world around us. And when we are exposed to those things, our brain is forced to think in new ways, to accept things in new ways and to look at things in new ways. And so we begin to have more and more experiences in life by the more change that we have. So for instance, I personally, whenever I change a job, I get really, really freaked out. Even though I've applied for the job, I've been accepted for the job, I'm more than qualified for the job. 
but I always freak out for some reason. I always feel like, oh no, what did I do? Why did I leave that other place? Everything was so comfortable. I knew everything in and out. And then eventually in the new job, I get to the point where I know everything in and out and I am ready for some change basically. And so I apply for a new place and then start the process all over again. But it's that initial point of this is something new that I've never experienced in this setting before. And so we can experience some sense of kind of anxiety from that. But if we take the time to look at it, we'll realize like this new setting is giving me a chance to grow in a way that I never could have grown from just doing the same thing over and over and over again. That's the problem with not having change. If things never changed, if things were consistent and always the same, we would never grow. We would never grow because we would just continue doing the same routine over and over and over again. And by doing that, you do not grow as a person. You would see the same people every day, all these kinds. Now I'm speaking specifically from a job point of view, but as you go through life, you're going to experience a lot of different change. And when we go through those changes, they will change our entire interaction with the world around us, thus giving us a chance to grow from the new opportunities to interact with others. The next thing that it does is it makes us better problem solvers because every situation has its own unique problems and solutions. So I'm going to go back to the job scenario here for a second. And looking at that, whenever, even though I'm doing the same career, I've talked many times on this channel about being an Apple um, systems engineer, but even though I'm doing the same job, Every time I do it at a new company, it's a completely different experience because every company has their own their own unique needs with Apple products, their own unique needs with technology, their own unique needs or wants and desires from what they're trying to achieve with that technology. And so by being in a new situation brought about by change in my life, I'm able to increase my ability to problem solve. We're all here for games, right? We love Minecraft, we love gaming in general. Games are great at teaching you to problem solve because they change on you as you play through them. A terrible game, a boring game, is a game that starts one way and ends the exact same way. That never changes the formula, that keeps having you do the same thing over and over and over again, and it becomes repetitive and boring. And life can suffer this same problem if it wasn't for change. Change is not a terrible, horrible thing that ruins everything. It's a, a necessary event that happens again and again throughout our entire life because it makes us grow and causes us to be better problem solvers. Coming back to video games, when the game changes the dynamic, changes the way puzzles work, changes the, the formula of just a fetch quest where you have to go get this and bring it back to this guy to unlock this area, but when they mix it up and you have to really think about it, and you really have to try different methods to achieve victory, that makes for a great game. I think about Elden Ring. I had such a great time with Elden Ring. I never had played a Souls game before until I, I played that game. And when I beat that game, I felt an immense sense of accomplishment. But it was not, not because beating Elden Ring is actually some sense of of an accomplishment it's not it's just a video game but to me it did give me that sensation because the game forced me to think very differently than any other game i had ever played and so even though i thought the story was really weird and i didn't really enjoy the story that much the gameplay was so varied and different for each boss and area and the, just the different type of weapons and characters you have that it really got me thinking in different ways and that's exactly what change can do for us in our life the next thing is that it can test and improve our relationships and our friendships change not only when you're connected with someone not only challenges you and changes you but can change and put strain on your friendships and relation relationships and strain on those relationships often result in better deeper meaningful relationships or they'll dissolve the relationship because it was shallow to begin with so another example of this is like work friends 
So if you're not sure what a work friend is, a work friend is a friend that you have and you consider yourself friendly with this person, but it is exclusively because you work at the same place outside of work. And if you were to stop working at that place, there is no friendship. And so I've seen this before personally in my life where I leave a job and there's just no real connection with the person or people I was speaking with before. And very quickly, those relationships tend to dissolve away because the friendship or relationship was not based upon a true connection between the two of you, but a mutual connection with the job that you actually had. But you can experience this in school. You can experience this in college. You can even experience this in just day-to-day -day activities where you connect with someone, but your connection is not really between the two of you. It's between the three events, you, the other person, and the thing that you have in common. And so that's not a terrible thing. Work friends are not a bad thing, but it is important to realize that there is a very different dynamic between an actual friend who you can rely and depend on and who will be there for you and you will be there for them than someone that you're just friendly with because you share a circumstance. And so change is a good way to remind us and show us who our true friends are and who our true relationships are. My best friend in the entire world, I met because of a job, but our friendship and relationship with each other grew way beyond work friends until we became, until he became my best friend. And he is definitely the person that I lean on the most in life and look for advice from and share things with and and reach out to the most often and so again that's I, I say that because it's important to know it's not a terrible thing to have a work friend or a school friend or a friend that you talk to because you ride the bus together every day but because those things can grow into something more real and tangible but it is important to know that there is a difference between those things and change can do a great job of pointing that out the last thing that change can do is help us defeat our fear of change. So there's this weird thing about the human mind is that when something bad happens to us, therapists say that it takes like 30 something times of that similar or same event to happen again without a negative response before your brain disables the like fight or flight mode when that event happens again. So I'm trying to think of an example of that would be like, Let's say you touched the oven when you were little and it was hot and it burnt your hand. You would have to touch the oven 30 something times without it burning your hand before your brain would disable the fear mechanism built inside of you that every time you ever touch the oven, you're going to burn your hand. So in that scenario, sometimes that fear is a good thing because you don't want to touch an oven willy nilly and just get your hand burnt, right? So fear can be a, a good thing in our lives, but the fear of change is not a good thing because change is inevitable. It is coming all the time, relentless and exposing us to it constantly. And so one of the good things though, is that the more we go through change, the more we can look back on ourselves and say, look, I went through change of a job, change of a relationship, loss of a good friend, loss of a source of income, whatever it may be. I went through change and I survived. And then I went through change again and I survived again. And maybe not only survived, but grew as a person, grew as a friend grew as a provider like i am a better human being now than i was back then and it was because my circumstance changed and so change can be a great catalyst for us to defeat our fear of change guys change is coming it always is but we don't have to be afraid of it and if we embrace change maybe on the other side we'll wind up even being a better person than we are today not all change is good. Not every time something changes in our life, it's a fantastic moment and something we will look back fondly upon for the rest of time. But all change can help us grow into better versions of ourselves. I truly believe that. Let's meet back upstairs up top and wrap this up. All right, guys, I would say that was not a bad haul at all. It was so exciting finding that cave. Like, I was literally, like, freaking out the entire time. <laughs> we didn't find as much diamond as I thought we would.
But we did get a decent amount of diamonds. So we got six. We got some iron. We got a lot of gold. We got some more lapis. We got some redstone. So like all in all, I feel like it was good. And I feel like we can finally make our diamond pants and have a full diamond set of armor. Oh no, we actually can't. We're one short. <laughs> oh, oh well. But yeah, that was a great episode. So now let's talk about what's coming new on the channel. And in order to do that, we're going to have to go to a different world. So see you in a minute. All right, friends, here we are in a new world and it's a super flat creative world. And there's a reason for that. And that's because I have been working on making kind of a mini adventure map, like a dungeon crawler adventure map. And so that's what's going to be new here. And we're going to be talking about how you can make your own kind of things like this. But I want to show you some of the just monstrosities that I've been creating. And so I'm not going to show you too much because we're going to actually be doing this in a video very soon. But I'm going to kind of take that on my inventory so I can get one thing. We're going to go into settings here. We're going to put ourselves in adventure mode, which apparently we're already there. Let's just test that. Yeah, we can't break anything. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and press this button. And some magic's gonna happen. Okay. So let's just pretend that you're playing this adventure map and you just started off here. Now I created this area and it took a long time for me to like build this, but I think it was totally worth it. And again, I'm not gonna show too much, but like you're playing, maybe you meet an NPC here, he gives you a quest or whatever. You walk into this little dungeon area and then it teleports you somewhere. Now it teleported me here to this little green thing because I've been doing that. You know, just kind of testing and playing thing with things. But let's say like, maybe I want to know when a player steps on that blue square right there, I want him to teleport right there, face a particular direction like over there, maybe face that block and have blindness for a second. And guess what? I can do that very thing. Now I was not bl facing that block. But I learned how to use command blocks to create all of these things. And I've been doing this for a few months now. And I've learned so much. And I'm so excited to share that with you guys. But let's say when I walked through that door up there in my little dungeon. Let's say it brought me here. To the actual entran entrance to my dungeon. So like the little cave was the beginning. But this is the first room. And when I walk in certain areas, mobs show up. And I have to fight them. And then I have to figure out maybe this is all gated. And I have to figure out, like, where's the button in here? Or what do I need to do to get this gate to open up? So I walk through and I get taken to the next area. And that's kind of what I've been working on. And that's what I'm excited to share with you guys. Of course, I plan on making maps like this and sharing them as downloads with the community. The other thing I want to talk about is a new game coming to the channel. And that is Valheim. And so beginning March 14th, Valheim will be avail available on Xbox Series X. And so there's going to be a bunch of new players playing that game. And I really feel like that game is right up there with Minecraft in the sense of it's just a lot of fun and it's very similar mechanics, but fixes a lot of the issues I think Minecraft actually has, which is like a lack of story, um, too easy of progression and things like that. And so, yeah, that's just some things. But guys, this is this is it. This is the change coming to the channel. We've got a new game coming. We've got Command Block series coming. We've got uh, the download of the island map going to be available right after the 100th day is reached. And then the 100th day will change the island from a survival game where you can download it and actually use it to achieve achievements in there because it still is in survival 100%, never turned into creative or anything. But we will be adding some creative elements to it to give it more life. Oh. I do want to show you one thing real quick, just because I'm looking at it and I'm like really excited and I know I'm like way over sharing here. But let's say I come to this block, I send myself up in here and I was playing around and I kept getting frustrated because I was like, I need to get out of here and I would break a hole and then have to rebuild it. But I was like, you know what? I could just hide a button that brings me out. Why not? Like, <laughs> Why not do that? And notice I landed here, not there, because that's a different command block altogether. Guys, this stuff is so powerful and can make Minecraft fun again. If you've been playing Minecraft for like 10 plus years like I have, Minecraft can get kind of old and boring, but this kind of stuff makes Minecraft a whole new game. It really, really does. And I'm excited to teach you how to do these things for yourself. So hopefully you are excited to see that too. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of Mining Positivity.
Bye, friends. <laughs>